Now, the United States has charged a 34-year-old North Korean for allegedly playing a key role in cyber attacks on Sony Pictures and other entities since 2014. Shortly after, the U.S. Treasury Department slapped sanctions on the same individual. Lee Sung Jae reports. The U.S. Department of Justice has brought charges against computer programmer Park Jin Hyuk, accusing him of being involved in a number of cyber attacks, including the attack on Sony Pictures Entertainment in 2014. We have unsealed criminal charges against a North Korean computer programmer for participating in a conspiracy that conducted sophisticated cyber attacks around the world on behalf of the North Korean government. Members of the conspiracy are responsible for some of the most damaging and most well-known cyber intrusions in history, including the cyber attack targeting Sony Pictures, the cyber heist of Bangladesh Bank, and creating the WannaCry ransomware. The U.S. Department of Treasury also announced sanctions on the same individual. It said the 34-year-old worked on behalf of the North Korean government or the ruling Workers' Party of Korea as an employee of the Joseon Expo joint venture. The department also sanctioned the agency, stating that all property and interests of both Joseon Expo and Park within the U.S. or in possession of U.S. citizens must be frozen. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said the United States will not allow North Korea to undermine global cybersecurity to advance its interests and generate illicit revenues in violation of sanctions. Mnuchin added the U.S. is committed to holding the regime accountable for its cyber attacks and other crimes and destabilizing activities. In 2014, U.S. officials said unnamed North Korean hackers were responsible for a major cyber intrusion into Sony Pictures, which resulted in leaked internal documents and data being destroyed. The attacks came after the North sent a letter to the U.N. demanding that Sony not move forward with the movie The Interview that portrayed the U.S.-backed assassination of a character made to look like North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.